Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus here again on this beautiful, snowed out, wonderful, wonderful Sunday morning here in the wonderful city of Woodbury, the state of Minnesota, and this God given earth. You know, today I want to say to all of you who can hear my voice teach your children to live. And when I speak of living, I'm speaking of loving. And I say these things because I reflect on my own outlook and insight of life as it has been exposed and I have been exposed to it. And if I would identify a certain measure or a certain standard of living by some amongst us that would exemplify what I consider as a righteous kind of life, it would be associated with some of the men that are mentioned in the Bible, some of them. And men which are more important to us because we can identify with are men like Gandhi. Men like Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Men like Malcolm X, Mega Evers. Men like the three, what they used to call them the young men, three young boys, Mr. Cheney, Mr. Goodman, and Mr. Shawana. We'd like to think that these represented godly men, people like John Brown, People like Miss Viola Luizzo. These people who gave their lives standing up for people's right to be human. For people's right to be treated like anybody would want to be treated. And they were killed because they represented this. They were killed because they stood up for this. This to me represents what it's all about. What this thing about God is truly all about. Standing up for what is right, and what is right is that which benefits all people, and anything outside of that is just a big faked up lie. Well, that's just the way I see it. You know, I heard the other day that uh, General Flynn, I think it's his name, had said something about America being a, a different new, new America. It's going to need its own church. And then I wake up this morning on hearing the news that there is a new church called the Patriot Church. The Patriot Church. Patriots, we know what patriots have represented over the past year. Represented people who were lying, doing every stuff we were taught to be evil, doing as much of it as possible, and others buying into it saying they agree with it and everything is fine. And then they call us the Patriot Church. A Patriot Church where they say that they believe that, that Donald Trump is defined by God to stand up for God and to come into America and to turn America around. And they preach this according to what I was hearing this morning in the Patriot Church. Now, they're not preaching the Sermon on the Mount that Jesus Christ uh, supposedly behind on the Christian church. No, they're preaching deception. They are preaching, and then they justify it by, by saying that God can use, an, according to the scripture, use the ass to speak. That God could use a rock to speak. And if God could use an ass or a rock, then God can use a Donald Trump. But I say to all of us, isn't it a sad statement that God look amongst the human beings on the earth and cannot find one that he could send so he could use an ass instead. Isn't it ironic that God can look all over the earth and can't find one representative that he can send, that God can send, so he would rather and have to send a rock? Isn't it ironic? that God can look down on the earth and find only one person. And had so happened that this person represented lies and cheating and stealing and killing and, and hatred and racism and bigotry and call him to stand up 
and 